give us a sense of what life was like there every day. What was hard on your body? What was hard on your mind and your heart? Well, I was the first American ever sent to labor camp in North Korea. And I had to work um, from 8 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock at night, six days a week, and working on the field, doing a farming labor, uh, work, um, carrying a rock and shoveling coal and all those things that uh, was physically very demanding and you know, it was very difficult, especially I had a back uh, problems and different issues that I had before, even imprisonments. But um, along the way that I found myself adjusting the life in North Korea prison, uh, just depending upon God and then just uh, solely uh, pretty much living day to day and just live one day at a time, yeah, hoping that I'll be going you home. you're not going home? You're going to be here forever. What kind of things would they say to you in the prison? Well, there's a one prosecutor who was assigned to my case for the last year of my imprisonment. He came to me almost every week and said, no one remember you. You have been forgotten by people, your governments. You are not going home anytime soon. You'll be here for 15 years. You'll be 60 before you go home. What would that do to your head? Uh, obviously, it was very difficult to take it in, but I was still holding on to the promise that it was uh, uh, from uh, when I was praying and from God that, you know, that he will be right rescuer and knew that the U.S. government would do everything possible that bring me home. So I was holding on to the promise.